A woman from Topsfield is getting ready for a 1,000 mile journey to help fight ALS. Incredible. She and her husband came up with this plan to raise money and awareness after doctors diagnosed him with the degenerative disease. They spoke with WBZ's Levin Reed. So that's for Doug and Dolly McElvey, a up. doctor's diagnosis on February 11, 2019 is a day that changed Doug's life and one they will never forget. He said, I mean, totally unprepared for any of this, he said, I can't tell you you don't have ALS. Um, and I, it just felt like all of the air was sucked out of the room. I, I didn't think it was the correct diagnosis, but after a while you have to face the facts. When four neurologists say you have ALS. Initially, the doctors gave Doug two to five years to live, but he's been one of the lucky ones. The progression has been slow. So recently his friend came up with an idea. My uh, college roommate, fraternity brother, said, let's, uh, let's raise some money and awareness for ALS. Let's ride 1,000 miles. From Oxford, Ohio to Boxford, Massachusetts, 1,000 miles to raise money and awareness. Doug will be the chief supporter. And she's, she's on board, he's on board, another fraternity brother's on board, and our friend that we know through the ALS community, Steve Lopez, is on board. And Doug and Dolly are making the most of this time to do whatever they can do to fight this disease and still have fun. There's lots of little details that we're thinking about along the way, and a big celebration on the 30th when we arrive. We want to cure this thing. We don't want to just, you know, help people live with it. Now, when this started, Doug and Dolly, they set out to raise $50,000 for ALS awareness. And right now, they are close to that goal at $45,000 raised. The ride starts on June 14th. And as they mentioned, they want to cross that finish line on the 30th. Fingers crossed. For WBZ News, I'm Levin Reed. That kind of resolve is brave. Yeah, incredible. Really is. Incredible. Amazing yep. people. And good luck to them. We have much more.